Hi guys, this is Calera Hudson of While They Play Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create the yarn over bind off. Now, if you take a look at these two swatches I have here, they were both created using the exact same pattern, with the only difference being the bind off. So if you look at this left swatch, you can see that I used a traditional bind off where I just knitted one and passed one over. And as you can see, it didn't allow the stitch pattern to expand and grow with the bind off. But in this right sample, you can see that it allowed the lace work in this pattern to grow and expand and stretch. So you can actually see the beautiful shape of that design. So this is the bind off that I'm going to be showing you today. And before I do that, I just wanna show you guys, it gives a nice decorative edge you can see the yarn overs right here in that edging. And it just gives a really nice stretchy decorative finish if you're working a pattern in lace. So I'll show you how to do that bind off. Now I have a piece of knitting here and I used US four three and a half millimeters for this piece of knitting. And I just like to go up one or two needle sizes for this bind off. You can probably go ahead and use the same needle size, but you'll want to just knit it a little loosely. And you can work this bind off on the front of your work on the right side, or you can do it on the wrong side. It's just going to leave a nice bind off loop, as you can see here. Get that where you can see it. So it'll just be going in a different direction but it pretty much mirrors itself on the right side of the work and the wrong side. So wherever you happen to finish in your piece of knitting, you can just do the bind off on the next row. Okay, so I'm using a US six four millimeter to work this bind off. And the first thing you'll do is a knit one, just as you would with a traditional bind off, and then pull that off the left needle and now your repeat begins. You'll start with a yarn over, and then you'll knit a stitch, pull that off, and now we're just going to pass the second and third stitches on our right hand needle over the first stitch. So we'll just insert our left hand needle, left to right, purlwise through this, the second and third stitch, which is the yarn over and the knit, and we'll pull that over that third stitch and pull those off the needle. So we were left with one bind off loop and now we can restart that repeat. So yarn over, knit a stitch, pull it off, then insert our needle into the yarn over in the first knit stitch and pass it over that last knitted stitch. And then we have one more bind off loop. So again, yarn over, knit a stitch, pass the second and third stitch over the first stitch. And we can see already our yarn over bind off that's coming together. And if you find it too difficult to pass the second and third stitch over, you can do those one at a time. So you can pass the yarn over the first stitch and then the knit stitch over the second knit stitch. So I'll show you that again. Pass over the yarn over, pass over the knit stitch. But I just find it a little quicker to take both stitches, especially if you have nice pointy knitting needles to work this bind off. And that's also another reason that I like to go up a couple needle sizes. It just helps you to keep your knitting a little loose as you're working this bind off. But I'll go ahead and work this bind off all the way to the end and I'll show you how we end this at the end of our row. Okay, so I've reached the last couple stitches of the row. So I'll do that yarn over, knit a stitch, pass the two over the first, and then I have my last stitch here, yarn over, and I knit that stitch, and pass the second and third stitches over the first stitch. And then I'll just do a yarn over, pass that through that last bind off loop, and then I'll just break my yarn and pull that through. So that is the 
end of the yarn over bind off. And if you take a look here, it's a mess, of course, at this point because we have not blocked our piece of knitting, but you can see how stretchy that bind off is. So you're going to be able to relax your yarn by soaking it. And then when it's time to lay it out on your blocking mat, you'll be able to just stretch that out as much as you need to for your lace pattern to expand and grow and for the yarn to bloom. And as I mentioned before, you have that nice decorative element of those yarn overs with that nice little chain at the top. So that's how you make the yarn over bind off. I hope this technique and this video helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.